Welcome to I bought something I didn't need and now I want to unbox it with you. <laughs> Ahoy there! Welcome to the Savvy Squid. It's Captain Katie and like I just said, I bought something that I probably didn't need but I really wanted. I've actually had this sitting in my art room for like a, I want to say a month. It's probably been at least two or three months now and it's still not even open. So today we're going to be opening up a Mossery package that I bought a while ago. And yeah, we're just, we're just gonna open it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lift to open, press to close. What? What? I did it hurt. Or this part. So as I get older and want less and less art supplies, I find myself wanting more and more of the mossery things. So, I have one box, not just one box though, I also have second box. And I've been eyeballing this one for a long time, this part of the box. If you've seen my other videos, I have been doing the plate to paper art kit and listen, I love I think her name is Sibylline. I love her artwork. And listen, I could not resist any longer. Let's get this cursed bubble wrap polluting my oceans. Why is it every time I open something, it is the most unsatisfying thing? Here it is in all of its glory. Love this. We are going to be unboxing this whole thing today. I hope you're ready for a really big Mossery haul because that's what today's video is. Before we get to the big box though, I am going to open the little one just because it does have some pretty good goodies in it. If I do say so myself, you know, I've picked them out. They should be pretty good. All right. I love their packaging. It's always so on point. I hate that it's in bubble wrap. I hate all the plastic. I try to not have as much plastic as possible when I package things, but it's fine. I won't boycott them or anything. Honestly, I'll probably just reuse the bubble wrap. So we've got two books here and I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember that I bought two. Okay, well, we'll just open the one on the bottom. Anybody else find these just like ridiculously fun to open? Just like the little twisty things? All right, you are loved, remember that. Aw. Also, hey, if you want 15% off Mossery, go for it. It's only valid till December 26th though, so use it fast. So this, oh, I got this with my uh, Zodiac sign on it. It's a little Leo. Um, this is so pretty. I don't remember the artist. I'll have to pop that on screen. But which one is this? I, I know I got a planner. Okay, so this is the marker paper. They just released a set of like really smooth like Posca marker paper type dealio. That's what this is. Also, yes, I know these covers are reusable and will I have five of them by the end of this box? Yes. It's just because I love collecting art. When I finally give you an art room tour, you will understand my room is covered in art. Okay, so that was the marker paper one. And then this one should be my planner. Can't get a grip on this string. And then I got this gorgeous illustration of Mount Fuji and I just kind of put my planner on there because I'm lame. Um, because what I plan on doing is instead of getting different covers every year, unless they come out with really, really nice ones, I'm just going to get refill inserts for this. So I decided to get the, um, the horizontal layout for their planners. I love having a planner. It just makes me feel so organized. Also, here is another discount code if you want to use that for 15% off. Um, so you can only use one code per transaction, but again, they don't expire till December 26th. So here are codes for you. Also, I'm not sponsored. I just like Mossery a lot, probably a little too much. My husband probably thinks that too because we exchanged uh, Christmas lists and I had some more Mossery stuff on there. All right, now that those are out of the way, let's get to the meat and potatoes and let's open up the Sibylline 
Maynette art box. I'm so, so, so excited. All right, I'm just gonna stand this up and slide this little paper thing off. It is such a heavy box. So, um, I don't know if you know this, but the art kits come with literally everything. And it's funny, just a few days before, or after rather, I bought this, they came out with a second Sibylline set, and I'm kind of sad because I got the first one. But I'm not sad because, like, I'm excited, but I wish I'd waited. Anyway, oh, these are so beautiful. So there's a little note from Sibylline. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so first thing, I believe all the art supplies are in this little cinch bag. So I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to dive into this. So first things first, just like with the plate to paper kit, we have the workbook that we will be working in. Um, and then I believe this has the tutorial book in it. Maybe it doesn't. I think this might just be all the merchandise. This is all the merchandise. We're going to look at it because it's beautiful. Her art is stunning. I just love it. And they all have like little postcards, the small ones do. Little envelopes, not postcards. These are just gorgeous. I am going to be hanging these up on my wall, not sending them out. <laughs> Because I'm selfish. <laughs> I will keep these envelopes though. They're very cute. I love her art so much. And then we've got two sticker sheets here. We've got like a witchy one. And then we've got, I don't even know. It's just kind of like botany with some bugs. I don't know. I, I like them both so much. And then we've got two bigger prints here. We've got this one. And then, oh my god, this one's my favorite. We've got the workbook, like I said earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and slice this open so I can give you a little bit of a flip through of it. Oh, okay, so it is in here. So the little guidebook is in the book, and it just goes over what we're going to be creating. This one seems a little bit more of a tutorial, at least it did at the beginning. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit more of a tutorial, I think, than the plates of paper, but then it just kind of goes over the same stuff in here and you'll just be painting it very similar to Sibylline using tips and techniques and I think I'm excited and there's little places for swatches I don't know if you can see that ah that's cute I love that and then there are illustrations we can also do just like the full ones oh that's really cool okay so we've got both of these and then this they always come with like a a blank sketchbook as well and you get to pick the cover and I'm really excited because this one is the fox one. I have an unhealthy obsession with foxes. I love squids, but I also really love foxes. Also, another one valid until December 26th if you want 15% off. So three of you can get 15% off. And this book is just a blank watercolor book for you to just practice your tips and techniques that you got from the tutorial book over to here. Just do your own thing. Now on to the art supplies, which is arguably the most fun part. They are all wrapped super cute. All right, so first off in here, we've got some 05 HB lead. We've got a Mars plastic eraser. We've also got some washi tape for making them clean edges. We've got three paint brushes. These are Princeton Velvet Touch. I like these brushes. We've got a teeny tiny one. This is a zero. Then we've got a filbert in eight and a round in two. And then, ooh, I think I lost mine. I had a Pentel Orins a long time ago and I got it from uh, Art Snacks, but now I have another one. These are really nice pencils. All right, what else? So this set comes with a bunch of Holbein acrylic gouache. So we've got titanium white, blue green, deep yellow, light blue, I'm not gonna be able to hold all these, um, burnt sienna, vermilion, and we've got a light apricot, ultramarine deep, shell pink, and then a primary black. I know I'm kind of like throwing everything everywhere, <laughs> but I don't have the desk space. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot about this. The last thing it comes with is actually a porcelain palette. So yeah, I mean, it's just a full on porcelain palette. 
Oh, I hate the feeling of the bottom of it, but porcelain palettes are really, really, really nice. They're very easy to clean. And then, of course, we have this cute little Mossery cinch bag. But yeah, that's everything that came in the box. Um, let me make it pretty. All right, so I tried to get everything from the kit on the, the video camera screen, and that's about as good as I can do. But this kit comes with a lot. It is not a cheap kit by any means, but if you bought it all separately, it would be cheaper. So yeah, I'm excited though, because I love her art style. I want to learn acrylic gouache. And honestly, I love this cover so much and I was going to get it anyway. So yeah. <laughs> Plus I'm pretty sure I don't have any of these acrylic gouache colors. So that's a bonus. Um, the other kit that they have, it's just another workbook with completely different stuff in it. And I will tell you that you can, like, if you already own this set, you can actually buy it separately without all of the, um, the art supplies if you don't want them. And it's a lot cheaper. So, um, if you do just want to get the workbook, you could always do that if you already have the gouache supplies. Yeah, that's pretty much the art haul. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I know it's kind of long. But yeah, we're going to be alternating now between the Sibylline kit and the plate to paper kit, uh, just to kind of keep things interesting. But next week, we're actually going to be opening up two palette packs boxes because I was behind. Anyway, thank you all so incredibly much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this art haul. I haven't done an art haul in what feels like forever, art supply haul, I suppose. And stay safe on the seas out there. I love you all so incredibly much. Toodaloo!